For our next question, we want to restrict the domain of the quadratic shown so that the inverse is also a function. Well, what we're going to have to do first is either complete the square. If we choose to try completing the square, we factor negative 3 halves out of the first two terms. We take half of that 7, which is 7 halves, square that value, and add and subtract it inside the bracket. We would then take the negative 3 halves, distribute it to the negative 49 over 4, which would give us positive 147 over 8. We then collect like terms out here, and at the same time recognize that the bracket is x minus 7 halves quantity squared. This would give us this expression here, 136 over 24 would reduce to 17 over 3. And then we could say that the, um, the function statement with the restricted domain would either be x less than or equal to 7 halves or x greater than or equal to 7 halves. If we choose instead the partial factor, we uh, factor out negative 3 halves x from the first two terms. We then recognize that our axis of symmetry would be at x equals 7 over 2. We would then be able to say that the original function expression uh, applies with the restriction that x is less than or equal to 7 over 2 or x is greater than or equal to 7 over 2. If we choose to uh, view the original um, function, uh, the black downwards turning parabola, uh, if we find its inverse we get a sideways opening parabola, the red one, and we see that it is not a function. So we have to make one of the restrictions we showed earlier. Our first option is to say that x is less than or equal to 7 halves, which would mean that y would be less than or equal to 7 halves, and we would get this lower turning bar on our inverse. Or if we chose to say that uh, x was greater than or equal to 7 halves, we would get a, an inverse where y was greater than or equal to 7 halves, which would correspond to the upwards uh, upper bar on the sideways opening parabola.